Hey everybody, it's Matthew of Mr. Domestic. This video is all about creating these ooh la la rayon boho style bags that are easy as one, two, three. If you've never made a bag, it's a great beginner bag. Perfect size for carry-all. I made these two with Pat Bravo's Nuncia. I did some hand quilting. And then I saw this rayon by April Rhodes from her Heritage Collection. And I thought that this was gonna be perfect for another bag. So I'm not doing any quilting. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> and also I wanna see that if it looks like cute without the quilting. And then if not, I can hand quilt it later. But I'm gonna show you the basics. I got this from very purple person it's a template it's a free template on her blog i'm gonna link to her very purple person very purple person don't forget to go look at very purple person thank you for providing that so now if you are ready to create this amazing bag it's reversible even then come on stick with me kiddos we're gonna learn how to sew a bag <laughs> oh 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 but before we get into the content, anytime you're enjoying it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And there's Helena right here, waiting for me, trying to get in here. So let's time out and then go sew, okay? We're gonna sew. Okay, so some things, housekeeping. I'm not gonna show you how to fuse fusible on. I'm not gonna show you how to cut stuff out, but I wanted to show you some things on the pattern. This is the reversible bag pattern. I went out another four inches here just so that it will be longer and strappier, like if you wanted to wear it on your shoulders. And then two different things. The exterior pieces I have fused on this fusible fleece. It's not a fleece, I forgot what it's called. It's new and it's fancy and I'll put it right here so that you know, but it just has a nice drape. There's also like a cotton batting that has a nice drape. So any kind of batting or fleece that drapes well will be perfect for this. And then I have a mid-weight fusible interfacing that I've done on the lining pieces here. So I have a solid for the lining. I have this print, they're already cut out. I've already marked where that line is, it's a dart line, which is actually gonna be the first thing that we sew. So let's head over to my sewing machine and I'll show you how to sew these darts right here. And then while we're over there, I'm going to sew the bottom shell together, which is on this and the lining. So let's go over to Felicia and get some sewing. So darts. These are in a lot of apparel in some bags, but this actually just, it creates part of the bottom. So right here, I used a Sharpie, <laughs> whatever, but the exterior of this line, I know is the line that I want to overlap and sew on. So I'm overlapping it here. Use, uh, what's this called? A pen. <laughs> and then align it here. So I'm gonna stitch here. I'm just using a regular needle. And then I'm gonna back stitch. On bags especially, I would back stitch at the beginning and the end just to secure every single seam. And then here, you could trim it. I'll go ahead and trim it to where I'm leaving about a quarter inch, and that should be fine. You, it's gonna be buried in the inside, so you don't have to zigzag it or make it pretty, but if you want to, go for it. And then I'll just do one more so that you can see it. And it's the same process for every one of these darts. There's a total of eight, two per piece, so. Get this point right here. If you've never sewn a dart, I would suggest doing the lining first because if you mess it up, it's on the inside before you get to the exterior. Back stitch. And back stitch. Okay, and then trim this. And then I'll do the other six darts. So 
Now all the darts are sewn. And as I stated before, I'm going to line up right sides together. The two bag exterior pieces, line them up at the darts. I might put a couple pins in here just around the corners so that it doesn't shift. The straightaway I think is gonna be fine, but the corners might shift. So that's what I'm doing here on either side of the dart. See, boom, boom. And then I'm doing this at a half inch seam allowance from this point. And I'll go down about a half of an inch before I get started. Back stitch. And now I'm gonna sew around the curve. I'm gonna need to do it quickly. There aren't very many seams in this bag. So just take your time. Really enjoy the curve. And for these two seams, just make sure one's going one way, the other's going the other way. It's called nesting the seams to avoid super duper bulk. Okay. Now I'll continue sewing around this curve and I'll fast forward. to the end, I'm gonna get about a half inch away from that seam and then back stitch that in place, do this to the lining and then I'll show you how I can. Okay, so I have the two pieces. I have one inside out, one right side out. So the bag part is inside out. The lining is right side out. Stuck them in here so it's sandwiched and then I clipped right here on the intersections. We're not going to sew everything together. We're going to sew most of it. So see how the straps are like this? We're going to sew, this is to the lining, one lining to the exterior. We're going to go around here so the outside, up around the curve and then back down. And then we're going to sew a little bit in the center here, but not too much because this is where we're going to turn it right side out. So we need to leave a big enough of a gap somewhere. So I'm going to walk you through the sewing over at Felicia and then I'll explain some more to you. I'm starting on the exterior right here or the outside of the straps. So line these up and sew at a half inch seam allowance and I'll show you what I do. this till I get to the intersection. And to the overlapping seams, once again, make sure one goes one way, the other goes the other way to avoid bulk. And then go back up the other side. other side I'll do that and fast forward just so you can see it and then right here around this curve I'm gonna lay this flat and then I'm gonna start sewing right here once the curve starts to widen out, so there's enough to pull everything through. Right here, back stitch these seams. I'm doing them both about the same. Got to do the other side too. Okay, I'm on my floor. Yes, I need to vacuum. Whatever. <laughs> so here's this, and then there's enough of a gap here to where I can pull all of it through. There's no need to rush it. You can do it slower here if you rush it and get a little bit too confident. Then you could rip the stitches and you don't want to do that. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so boom. Here it is, all the straps. So, oh, there's a needle on my floor. <laughs> 
so these straps are going to go like this, right? These two front ones, and then these are going to go like that. So now that we've done this, this way, like this, line them up. See how I turn them? You want to make sure that the loop will still go the same way. So I put those together. I'm going to clip this right here. I'm going to stitch here, and then I'll show you how I prepare the front. Okay, so now it's time to sew these together. Once again, one seam going this way, one going the other. Minimize this bulk. Okay, so this one's done. One more strap. Here's the second one. Now I'm going to go over to my pressing mat and show you how I can finish preparing this for the final. So now I'm over to my sewing mat. I have some clips. This right here is going to be a stitch line around this circle. So you're going to have a top stitch line all the way around. But now we've got to prepare this using some clips here. And then let me move one out of the way. Just have this other one. And now, if you want to measure, go for it. I'm going to estimate a half inch seam allowance here and here. Let me use my iron to get it started. Press this one at an estimated. Right there, it looks pretty good to me. And then now pin these together. Right here, I'm gonna clip, clip. Then I'm gonna do this around the entire thing. until it's all clipped and then I'll take it over and sew. So I'll speed up here. So now I have one done, and now I'm going to take that over to my sewing machine and show you how I edge stitch that, and then that's all you need to do to finish this bag, and you are awesome! So I have this over to my sewing machine, and I'm going to start at the top right here, just because I feel like that's a good spot to, to begin and end the top stitch line. I'm going to go in about a quarter or an eighth of an inch, make sure to get all layers. Take your time and go around. Just making sure it's all lined up as you go. Down here, I'm gonna overlap about an inch. Back stitch. Show you the stitching. See? And look, the finished back. And I did stitch both sides. It looked better. And I am gonna let you know that I don't feel like you have to quilt it. This looks like Foxy Foxy. So yeah. Hey, now you can make a reversible hobo style 
bag that you can put anything in. You can make these quick as gifts. You don't have to use rayon. I just did because I bought a bunch and it's like this is a project where you can use it. So if you enjoyed this video, got a laugh or a tip or a trick, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep it positive y'all. Mr. Domestic out. Yeah.